Hello friends, hope you're all doing great and I hope you're enjoying your time in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today we're going to take a little bit of a different look at the games and we're going to have a look at character customization, the different clothing that you can get and the different hairstyles as well as actual character customizations. We're going to hop into game. Before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Oh, we are going to start off in Mesagoza where the majority of the main clothes shops are going to be located. Now anytime you're on the map, you can zoom in on areas using the ZR or ZL or just the directional on your your right analog controller and now you can see the different shops that you're going to get in each of the cities around or towns around the Paldea region. The ones that you're going to need to look out for in regards to character customization are the clothing shops that look like this with the t-shirt on and also the scissors as well. You're going to have the main shops to buy stuff from or baggins. You Right here. Gonna get Fashion Street and then you're gonna get Rough and Tough as well as some other shops that we'll go past and show you on our way. So in the center of Mesagoza, like I say, this is where we're starting off. There are a number of different towns that you can purchase clothes from. Not a great deal though. So Mesagoza is the main one. The next place that you're gonna be able to purchase clothing items from is Cascarafa and this place does have a bunch of different clothing shops as you can see there's a bunch down here you're gonna have a hairdressers as well more clothing and there's quite a lot of options here and then there's only one other place where you're gonna be able to buy clothing and that is in Lavincia and you're gonna be able to buy a bunch of different things in these shops here. You've got the hairdressers there as well, and you're also gonna have some places to pick up bags and other accessories. So you are pretty limited with what you can do in regards to clothing in the game. Now to do customization for your character, your clothing, you can do this anywhere in the game. You don't need to visit a specific shop to change your outfit. You wanna just hit the left D-pad controller on your controls, and this will bring up the option of your character and all the clothing options that you have. The one drawback I would say with these games is the tops. You're not gonna be able to change your tops outside of the four that you've got. You're not gonna be able to buy any tops anywhere in the region at the moment. Maybe that'll change with DLCs or downloads or events, gifts and things like that in the future. But for right now, you're not gonna be able to change out of your school uniform and that goes with school rules. They do stay in the school. You can't go around the region with Without your school uniform on so you have to stay like this so you've got four options you've got your spring uniform which is just a shirt then you've got your summer option short sleeve shirt and shorts then you've got your autumn uniform which is kind of like a, a, a armless jacket a gile is that what they're called i think we call them gilets i i don't know i don't own one but you know they're some people's thing and then you've got your winter uniform, which is a bigger coat. It doesn't look like a coat. It looks like just a blazer with a zip blazer. But that is your winter uniform. So they, they're your four options. You don't really have many options outside of these. The other options that you're going to have are obviously going to be socks. So you can change your socks. Shoes, you're going to be able to change and buy. Gloves, bag, hat, glasses, and of course, Rotom cases as well. Now on this screen as well, I'll just take the camera away for a minute because you can change your look. What you wanna be doing is pressing the plus icon here and this will take you to your customization screen where you can change your eye shape, your eye color, your eyelashes, your eyebrows, your lip shape, your lip color, uh, if you've got beauty spots or freckles or anything like that. So you've got a lot of options to change how your character looks and you can do this at any point throughout the game. You aren't locked into doing this just from the start of the game when you decide you can change it whenever you want and wherever you are in the region which is pretty nice so the shops that we want to look for are the barbers the barbers look like this they're going to be in a few locations around the region and you can come in it does cost three thousand poker dollars to change your hair but you do have a lot of hair options you're going to have options one and two hairstyle and then hair color so hairstyles you can have a bunch of different things and you can turn your character around when you're doing this which is pretty nice so 
customization for actual appearance of your character is actually really good. I think you're gonna get a lot of options. Slick back, that looks cool. We'll go with that one for now. Um, but I'll show you, I'll just quickly show you a lot of the other ones. We'll not go through the whole list. You can come here yourself. But like I say, you're gonna have a bunch of different options for your character to have. And it is pretty good. It's an improvement, I think, on past games. We'll have the slick back and you can change the color of your hair. You can go for anything. They're not just normal colors, regular colors either. You can have like green if you want, which is pretty cool. You can have white, pink, blue, red. I think we'll go with something like, let's go. I think there is an, a turquoise, blue, green. We'll go with this one. This looks cool. This is what we'll go with. So when you want to confirm this, you just need to press the plus button um, and it'll ask you, that's a bold new direction and they'll cut your hair. They'll take your 3000 polka dollars, which isn't a massive amount. And then you can kind of go on your way. So pay with cash or league points. We'll pay with cash this time. And there you go. You've got your character hairstyle change to whatever you want different colors there is a bunch of options just wanted to show you that this is where you can do it in game and all the salons are going to be pretty much the same wherever they are in the Paldea region now the other shops that you're going to have options of well, there is a clothing store just down here and you can come here to this one this one is going to be the knack uh, picnic knacks so this is where you can pick up um bits for your picnic you can get different tablecloths mint tablecloth different colors and different patterns you can get steel bottles you can have like really customize your whole uh, picnic then the next shops we're going to look at you're going to be able to get yourself some hats specifically you're going to have like just hat shops as well in the region now personally i'm not the biggest fan of hats in games but you know you are going to have options to do this the drawback about these shops is I just feel like the loading screen takes far too long to go through all of the different options. It, it's not instant. You can see there's a bit of a delay when it is changing the items. So it makes going through everything. It feels like a little bit of a chore. I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks that. I just feel like it could be quicker and there's no option to kind of zoom in on your character either. You know, when you're looking at like headgear specifically, and this goes for the same for the glasses, you, I feel like you want to just have a close up of the head so you can rotate it and have a good look at what the, the, the item looks like. To save time, I'm not gonna go through all of the hat options there. You're gonna have a bunch of options in there as well. And then you're gonna have the same for the glasses. But like I said, you've got the same problem where you're not good, you, you can't get a close up of your character. And even if I take away the camera view here, there isn't an option to zoom in, but you are gonna be able to get yourself a bunch of different glasses options uh, for your character. If you want them to wear glasses, there is sunglasses options as well. So you can see there is a huge list and they're not too pricey either. So that is an option for your character and you can just collect those. And the next thing, because you can't customize tops, you can customize socks. So that's what we're going for in Scarlet and Violet. Um, again, it takes a while for the screen to load. I mean, you can see as soon as you come into the shop here, it does take a little while for your character to appear. And then for you to go through each and every individual sock, you know, it is a bit of a pain, especially when they're just different colors. You can get patterned socks as well and sports socks, higher socks. Uh, kind of knee socks and things like that. So you're gonna have a bunch of different options in these places. You're gonna have a shoe shop right here. So this is an option as well. But again, you're gonna have the same problem the whole time where you are not gonna have a quick time where it does take a bit of time to load and you wanna see them before you buy them especially for the customization. You're gonna get different makes as well. Obviously brands, I should say, um, performance sneakers here. But these look like they'll do the job. So we'll take those. This looks deceiving. This looks like you can buy jackets in here and maybe with an update, we will be able to at some point, but this is rough and tough and they sell gloves. Again, you can come through, change the, the color of your gloves that you've got on. Um, you're gonna get a bunch of different options in here, patterns, different styles, fingerless and things like that. Again, you're gonna get different hat options in here as well, and also glasses options as well. And uh, these stores are throughout the different regions. So that is 
the stores in Mesa Gorza. And here's future me forgetting that you do have bag stores as well. Different color, different patterned ones, different shape. That is another option as well. And there's a final thing that you want to be able to do is actually the Rotom cases. So if we come across to this Pokemon Center right here, which is on the map, which is kind of to the west side, you want to just turn to your right and come down these stairs here and then come to this shop, which will be, I think it's the Deli Bird shop. Yeah, the Deli Bird shop. And you can see it's got Rotom cases like a poster on the, on the front there. And what you want to do is come down to the Rotom phone cases and you're going to have an array of options. These shops are throughout the region. So you're going to be able to have different options of Rotom cases that you're going to be able to buy. So you've got different colored ones, different themed ones on Pokemon. You've got the starter ones in here and different Deli Bird shops will give you different options. So on top of the, the ones that you can get for free for having the different save data that we covered on the channel you've got those options as well you're not going to have a great deal of customization options but the ones that we do have i guess are pretty good let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on the character customization in these games do you like it do you not are you a big fan of the uniform i don't mind it but i'm not a big fan of it i wish i could kind of change it especially now we finished the game but that is for another time have a great rest of your day. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Drop a sub for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I will catch you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye. <laughs>